Marvelous Muses. So how are we doing tonight, guys? So while I was in Vegas, uh, Resonaires reached out to me and uh, asked me if I'd like to try an item that they're coming out with. So I'm going to show you this. This couldn't be more on time. Those of you who know, I've been battling with allergies of some sort. And it is called Resonaires Pure Air. And it is an air purifier system. And it's made for resin crafters. So, I'm going to try this out, and we're going to unbox it. We're going to see what it's about, and we'll be right back. So, I'm going to put you guys on pause. I'm going to open this up, and we'll see what all it comes with, and read all the instructions. Okay, first off, let's just say, this come packaged very, very nicely. Got the nice, heavy-duty foam packing in it. Just wanted to show you that it came packed very well. Alright, I'm going to finish opening it, and we'll be right back. Alright, guys. So, can I just say, this is very, very nice. This is a good size item. I'm going to measure it. Uh, but it is very, very decent size. Uh, it's not... If you look at my hand, there's my hand. So, this is going to show you that it's several... I'm going to say probably... Two and a half, three feet tall. Um, we have buttons up here. It has a sensor, VOC sensor, detects alcohol, gas, better avoid long exposure to high alcohol environments. So, pretty cool here. And then you have buttons. You have a variety of different buttons that tell what they're doing. So, I'm going to put you guys on a pause and we're going to look through the manual and then we're going to plug this in and see how it works. We are back. So I set it up to the side here. This is your power supply. Uh, I like it. The fact that it has a nice long cord on it. So you have plenty of length. That little bit short thing. You have pretty decent sized cording here. Length of cord. Very nice. So, it's called the Resineers air purifier model AP01 uh, Resineer stands as an unrivaled pioneer and innovator of resin crafting machines we are committed to empowering resin beginners hobbyists and professionals alike with innovative resin machines to enhance crafting efficiency and perfection Resineers is where art and tech meet uh, Fostering a supportive space for passion and creativity to flourish and celebrate the boundless joys of resin craftsmanship. I use my tumbler here almost every time I do a tumbler. Uh, I think I have one time I haven't used it. Uh, I also use my uh, Resineers bubble debubbler. I love it. So I've been really pleased with their products. I haven't tried the resin yet. A couple people have tried it. I've seen them try it. Uh, but that's, so far that's it. Alright, so, of course you have your general safety. Only use your air purifier as described in the manual. Don't use it without removing the plastic wrap from the filter. Oh, there's plastic on the filter. Nice to know. Uh, don't use it outdoors. Keep the air purifier away from water. Uh, never place it in water. Don't use it in necessarily humid areas. Uh, keep the air purifier away from heat. Um... Don't place anything into the opening. Don't place heavy objects on it. Pretty much all the different things that you would... Common sense items that you would not do. Uh, of course, don't play, put the cord near any heat source. Don't cover the cord with a rug or a carpet. Uh, don't place the cord under furniture or appliances. Keep the cord out of areas where people walk, walk often because you don't want people walking over your cord. So you have a user manual. You have a filter pre-installed, you have a power adapter, and you have the air purifier. Uh, electromagnetic fields, EMF, your resin ears purifier complies with all standards regarding electromagnetic fields. If handled properly and according to the instructions in this user manual, the appliance is safe and to be used on based on scientific evidence available today. Getting to know it. Okay, so your display screen, of course, is the area there. 
you have your touch buttons, which were those little buttons that I had pointed to on the outside here. Uh, you have your main housing. Uh, you have your air inlet, which is at the bottom. The air comes in at the bottom. Uh, your air outlet is up here at the top, around the very top of it. Uh, your filter cartridge is inside. You look here. You raise the top up. And the filter is inside here. And then the power supply. Uh, about the filters, uh, it comes with, it uses H13 True HEPA filter to purify the air. A, a pre-filter, captures large particles such as dust, lint, fibers, hair, and pet fur. Maximizes the filter life by protecting it. Uh, then it has an outer uh, inner part here, which is the actual HEPA composite filter. Traps 99.97 of airborne particles, 0 0.3 microns. Uh, in size, traps airborne particles such as fine dust, smoke, and allergens, such as pollen and pet dander, absorbs and removes smoke, odors, fumes, TBOC substances in the air. Uh, getting started, you're going to take it all out of the package. Uh, you're going to rotate in the direction of the arrow to unlock it. You're going to lift the main body and remove all the plastic packaging from the filter before using. So then you're going to put it back on. You're going to rotate it. Charge your air purifier. Connect the power cord to an outlet. Power it on and off. When it's powered on, it will enter self-check mode. All indicators on the screen will light up, and the screen will turn off after three seconds. The buzzer will sound once, the machine will enter standby mode. At this time, only the power button can be used. In standby mode, you're going to press the power button to turn on the air purifier and enter a working state. The fan will default to first gear mode. Now, let me turn my fan off, guys. I'm sorry. I forgot you guys have issues when I had the fan on. Uh, the fan will default to first gear mode and the following information will be displayed on the screen. The current ambient temperature. Oh, that's nice. It's going to tell you how hot it is. The humidity. The TVOC value, which is volatile, total volatile organic compounds. When it's powered on for the first time, the sensor needs to preheat for three minutes. During those three minutes, it will display a value that will be zero and the TVOC icon will blink. Um, indicating that the sensor is in preheating phase. After three minutes, the preheating is complete and the TBOC icon will remain lit while the value can be displayed normally. This preheating process ensures that the sensor can accurately detect and measure TBOC levels. Once the preheating is finished, you'll be able to see the actual TBOC value. Uh, the TBOC built-in sensor built into the purifier also responds to alcohol gas so care should be taken to avoid placing the purifier in a high concentrated alcohol gas environment for a long time. Uh, air quality level. So you have the different air color quality levels, green, yellow, and red. Green is 0 to 5, 0 to 0 0.5 uh, milligrams. Yellow is 0 0.5 to 1 milligram, and red is 1 to 9.9. .9. <coughs> the color of the ambient light on the machine will change synchronously. The filter indicator when the filter life falls below 10%, which is 200 hours out of a total of 2,000 hours, the filter light will turn red and blink. So it shows here all your different things. So this is your TBOC concentration, uh, your temperature, your humidity level, filter life indicator, fan speed indicator, auto mode indicator, time indicator, and your air quality level. Depending on how this bar lights up is going to show your air quality level. In a working state, lightly press the on-off button. The screen will turn off 
and the machine will enter standby mode. By lightly pressing the off on and button again, the machine will resume operation, returning to the first gear fan speed and maintaining the temperature setting from the previous standby. Switching temperature scales, so you can switch it from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Uh, in working mode, temp touch the temperature scale switch button to cycle through the display of Celsius and Fahrenheit. So, those of you in the UK can switch it to your Celsius. Uh, switching the wind speed. You can do first gear, second gear, third gear. Uh, auto mode in working state. Lightly press the auto mode to turn it on or off the intelligent purification mode. When intelligent purification mode is on, the auto mode indicator light will turn on. In intelligent mode, the machine will automatically control the fan speed according to the air quality. It has a timer so you can set it from 1 to 8 hours in 1 hour increments. The screen will display correctly, currently, and set timer. So you can set a timer. Oh, that's what the time is. So the time is you can set a timer and you can say, well, I'm going to be in the art room for 3 hours tonight. So we're going to set this to run for 3 hours. I am going to try it in my art room and in my house. So we are going to give it a lot of different things. Uh, care and maintenance. Uh, unplug the unit before cleaning. Don't use abrasive chemicals. Uh, reset the filter life indicator after you replace the filter when it says you need to replace it. Uh, ideal room size, 155 feet. Effective for larger rooms, but purification will take longer. So, yeah, I'm going to try this, guys. And I will update you on how this works. Uh, they have a 12-month warranty for all their products. If you have any questions or suggestions about the products, please feel free to contact through the following contact methods. We look forward to providing you with the quality service experience. So... That is that, guys. All right, I'm going to plug this in, and we're going to see how this works in here in the art room, and then uh, I will come back and show you it running so you can see it. And then um, I may leave it run out here for a little while, but I think I'm going to take it in the house and run it in my house for a while and see what happens in there, see if it's showing up stuff in there. So I'm going to put you guys on pause, and we'll be right back. All right, so I plugged it in. We're letting it do its thing here. Uh, this is the top of it. This is where all the buttons are that you change. You hear it kick in. I can feel the air coming out the top here. And just to show you here, see the green light? Isn't that neat? Very cool. So we're going to let this run. I'll be back if anything changes on it. Hey guys, I hope the sound's not too loud. If it is, I'm sorry. Uh, but this is where the air is coming out at. And if you notice, this changed. And this changed. So, I want to change this back to Fahrenheit. There we go. It is 91 degrees in my art room right now. So this is why I don't do this during the day. 60% humidity. And 0 0.059 VOC. So we're going to let this run for a little while. I'm going to shut my door out here. And we will be back in about an hour just to see what it's doing. Okay guys, so this is an update on this. I've been using this now for about two weeks off and on. And when I first plugged it in out here, I didn't even realize it did anything other than green. So what I do is I take it, I use it out here, and then I take it in the house, and I use it in the house. You guys know I've been struggling with issues with my eyes. This helped so much. So, so much. So I'm going to show you a little test here. And we're going to kind of go over what, what this means. And you'll kind of get an idea. So... Basically, I've got a bottle of water here. I'm going to put my water in this cup. Okay, so you guys see the green, right? Everything's pretty. Everything's green. 
Perfect. Right, nothing changes, everything's the same. Okay. So now, we're going to move this out of the way. I'm going to get one of the little cardboard cups out. I haven't tried this with UV resin, but I want to try it. I want to see what happens with the UV resin. If it recognizes it. Okay, so I put a little bit of UV resin in the cup here. And we're going to stir it right over here by the deal. All right. Where's the sensor at? I don't know where the sensor is. I'm trying to remember where I saw the sensor at. Okay. Did this cup do this again? Yes, it did. I hate these cups so bad. Okay, so that did not work. That's all right. I don't like that cup. Anyway, oh, sorry, guys. I'm just moving you around. I'm going to put you on pause. I'm going to mix up a batch of resin, and we're going to put it near here, and we're going to watch what happens. We'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. So do you see this red? So I'm stirring the resin right here beside this, and if you look at the VOCs on the top of here, it is 3.55, and I have my door open, and it will continue to go down. See, it's going down as if you watch it. 3.552, nope, no, that went up, 3.5, there we go. So it is actually taking this out of here. So... Very cool, right? And it's still super hot out here. It is probably 10 o'clock at night, and it is 87 degrees. That's not with the heat index. That's just the temperature. But this is red. So this is how you know when it's removing the harmful VOCs from your room. And if you guys mess with resin, like I said, you know I, I've had issues with my eyes. And this thing has been such a huge, huge help. So, guys, I'll let you know about the Kickstarter, how this is going to work once I know more information on this. When I post the video, it'll all be linked in the description box below. So, alright guys, I'll be back. Bye.